Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for February 2020. Keep in mind it is a general read, so if it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, rising or Venus signs. So starting out, I feel a split between focusing on yourself, abundance, how you want to move forward and the, the level of success and victory you want individually and also uh, a focus on passion. Now, for some of you, I feel like you may have met someone and they've really stirred your passion, but there's a sense I feel of a lack of communication or it doesn't seem to be moving forward. For some of you, this could be something that you're you're not focusing on now and you're putting your attention on your work and what you want to build. For your oracle cards, we have patience and the weaver. And what I just heard is there's a need to have patience while spirit weaves this connection together. I do feel as though something is coming together, but either it's not happening in the manner you hope for, or it's really taking a long time. There's just this sense of you want things to progress and speed up. But ultimately, I do feel as though there's certain things that you're going to achieve and accomplish individually. So for some of you, this timeline may be somewhat delayed or feel that way, precisely because spirit is assisting or aiding you in gaining success and joy individually first for others of you who are resonating with meeting someone where you have this spark or you have this connection it could be that it's just put on hold while you nurture yourself and your dreams because what we have on the bottom of the deck is the eight of materials so i do see you working really hard and i do see a lot of blessings coming towards you there's a lot going on and with this seven of emotions, it could be that the person you're interested in as well, for those of you where that message resonates, there's other options and spirit is perhaps putting this connection on hold so you can perhaps receive another offer or someone comes into your life that may be more in alignment with what you desire. Either way, I do see a lot of joy and blessings for you, but there may back to this energy of options perhaps one particular option or one individual isn't quite the match because we have the three of voices or three of swords the eight of cups walking away the seven of swords and the ace of voices spirit may be helping you gain clarity around someone i feel the energy of someone that you or they, like you both may be mutually quite passionate or attracted to each other, but it's there's something not quite right about the connection or you're not seeing ev ugh, you're not seeing everything. And spirit is almost bringing in this pause because that gives time for a divine partner to come in, someone that's more in alignment. But that won't resonate for everyone. So there is this sense at the center of the spread with this nine of materials of either staying single or choosing to focus on yourself, your endeavors, your abundance, because what's in opposition is the 10 of materials or 10 of pentacles. So there's this sense of spirit flooding in tremendous success and blessings towards you. And I do think for many of you, February is a critical month in terms of what you want to do in the world, materially, uh, in terms of career, business it's a really i think for many of you it will be a very profitable month and it's a great month to put your ideas and your visions into practice and then what we have beneath that is a six of inspiration or the six of wands again february is the month of individual success individual abundance and although love may not be moving at the speed you desire or for those of you who resonate with the message around a connection that's there's passion but it's not moving as you hope i i do feel this is all divinely inspired to lead to greater blessings in the future but again for many of you i feel like if you don't currently resonate with connecting with someone in the future you're going to have two options and one is a beautiful connection and divine partner and the other perhaps isn't the healthiest of connections or may not end in the way you desire so with this aid of inspiration, we see, first of all, I'm hearing February is a month where you stretch your limits. You push beyond your comfort zone. You're expanding. For some of you who resonate with kind of self-employment creativity, you may be expanding your reach, what you do in the world, how you connect with others. And with this priestess, 
Spirit is saying, it's almost, I just heard your intuition is your business partner. So you may be getting downloads and intuitive nudges in terms of what direction to take or what you want to do. For others of you who resonate with a passionate connection or someone you feel passionate towards, you may be connecting with them energetically and be able to feel perhaps their emotions, their their intentions. And that may be kind of making it more difficult not intentions more their emotions or the bond between you but then i feel there's almost a lack of communication or nothing's being spoken you may feel they're quite cold emotionally quite distant and that's the thing it's almost like that presence looms or it's in the back of your mind niggling but then in the physical realm it's not fully manifesting now you're showing up here as this page of voices. So again, I feel for some of you, there's someone you have your eye on or there's someone you're interested in. And there's this desire here to perhaps uh, invest, to build, to connect. But there's this sense of well as well of spirit saying it's time to kind of invest as well in yourself, in your path, in your direction. Because with this 10 of materials, there's tremendous abundance and opportunity available to you. I also think you don't want to be in a pattern and the divine is saying it doesn't serve you to be in this vibrational pattern of investing in someone and continually putting a lot of effort and refusing to surrender or give up for someone that isn't offering the same. Now, for many of you, I feel it's more the energy of someone you're talking to. I don't feel this is necessarily a completely committed relationship or it's something that may have ended. But I do see Scorpio moving their focus towards self. And again, I think it's going to generate a choice, a choice in love, a choice to either focus on yourself and your abundance and surrender your focus and your efforts on a particular person. So I'll clarify this spread. And what we see again is this King of Swords. So for some of you, it very well could be an air sign or someone with air prominent. But we get this sense that Perhaps both of you are watching each other, but I just keep feeling nothing is being spoken or nothing is moving forward and progressing. So instead, you may just focus on your independence, on your abundance, and with this Ten of Swords, closing the connection out. Because I do feel spirit may be, may be or will give clarity on why it couldn't come to be and the spiritual purpose behind the meeting. I do feel... With the priestess, I do feel, for those of you where it resonates, that this is a spiritual connection, but it's not its not completely in balance. It's not something that can be built on a really solid foundation. So we have the Nine of Materials or Nine of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. Again, focusing on your new beginning in the physical realm, focusing on your abundance, what you desire, how you want to progress and move forward. And for some of you, that may mean leaving someone behind. And this could be someone that you've either been with in the past and you're both still have passion or you're both kind of watching each other or someone where it's more like there's a connection, but it's unspoken. And again, we see the hermit. So it's confirming this is a spiritual bond. And this was a, I want to say a karmic contract but look at what lay behind it, the Seven of Swords. There's something either, I just keep hearing there's something that's not right about both energies coming together. It doesn't serve you. It may be someone that doesn't really speak up or speak honestly. So you're in this energy of the moon. It's always shadowy. They're never forthright in how they feel. But again, there is this soul bond there. I think for some of you, though, you may decide to take your passion elsewhere. Okay, so to clarify, the Ten of Materials is the Lovers and the Hermit. What I'm hearing is through this soul contract and this connection, you go through certain spiritual shifts and changes and transformation, which enables your Ten of Materials to come in. So here we have the six of inspiration with the king of cups. Now, for some of you, I feel like this could be your divine partner. And the reason why spirit is perhaps putting 
whoever this person is or this connection on hold is for this individual to come in. But again, it's they're coming in at a point where you're happy with your abundance and your level of success. For others of you, you may just be feeling really positive about yourself and your state. I want to say your state of affairs or what you've achieved individually. And what we see is the sun. So happiness, joy, blessing, accomplishment. We have emotional fulfillment, but also passion. But what we have behind that, the three of swords. So whatever this connection is, again, it could be past energy with an air sign or someone with air prominent. It's almost as though when you lay these burdens down and you receive this justice, it puts you in your power. And it could literally put you in your power through what you then focus on or what you choose to uh, achieve. Yeah, so we have the six of wands on the table twice. So again, February for you is a month where you have the potential to achieve wonderful things, to shift. For those of you who are trying to attract more abundance, I would really act on any creative ideas you have. If you feel the intuitive nudging to apply for a particular job, particular role to further your study and your learning, I really feel as though that's going to benefit you. And what it does, this movement forward and your success takes you out of a, an energy of lack. I feel as though this, this vibration could have been triggered by whatever this connection was. But it also gives you new perspective once you call judgment and decide to manifest something new. Take a new path and direction. The spirit is really saying staying in that vibration or holding on to that person or their energy or if they're doing so to you, once completely cleared opens up a new path and as i say that we have the priestess and the two of wands so there's this sense of spirit guiding you to take a different path either towards a different connection uh take a different path in terms of focusing on yourself your abundance what you want to achieve and receive and what we see coming in when you do so is this love offer again we see water really prominent so this divine partner coming in or around your energy, maybe a water sign, but this definitely isn't the individual I was sensing early on. And it also comes, it may come through some sort of work situation, work setting. It could come through or while you're working on yourself in your abundance. And that's when this connection is made. on too many cards beautiful so after this king of voices we have this love offer but again I'm not for a small percentage, this could be the same person. But if I'm honest, I feel completely different energies. This is someone who I feel doesn't reveal how they feel, very emotionally closed off, has interest and passion for you, but doesn't reveal their intentions, doesn't speak up. This energy for me is someone that's very emotionally mature, uh, balanced, wants to actually build and invest. So for me, I do feel they're not the same person. However... I feel as though, again, we see this King of Swords. This King of Swords may be watching you or still kind of keeping an eye on you, not, not in a frightening way, but through social media or however they choose while you're headed towards someone else. So it's like this person has lingering interest and passion for you and in you, but they either don't fully offer what you desire in terms of commitment and solidarity or they're not speaking up about what they think and feel, which kind of, it's almost like it pushes you into the arms of someone else. Okay, so we have this page of voices, temperance and the three of wands. So for those of you who resonate with having watched someone or had, had interest in someone, I feel like you go through this phase of healing, balancing your energies, transforming, release, and then you focus on a new vision. You focus on the vision of how you want your life to be, what that looks like, how you're going to move forward. And doing so triggers changes that then enable, I feel, this offer to come in. 
Beautiful. So as we see with the seven of materials, it's shifting away your investment from whoever this individual is into yourself, into something that perhaps has more payoff or is beneficial for your path. Again, it's a choice as well in terms of where to invest. What we see again, the Prince of Swords. So we see this, we'll call them the air sign, but they don't have to be the, they don't have to have air. It's just, they operate like that. They're very fixed on you, but they don't speak their heart. They, they may be determined to kind of be with you or have some sort of connection with you. But I do, I keep hearing their motives may not be fully clear. This isn't someone that's very honest and transparent. Behind that, these are your options. You have this one and this, the two of cups. Again, water energy. Someone that's very emotionally available, wanting to have a new beginning with you, build with you. Very intuitive, but in sync as well. For some of you, both these connections you may be dealing with now or maybe in your energy now. For others of you, I feel like you're moving away from one toward the other. Okay, exactly. So you decide to stop putting energy and effort in something or someone that I don't want to, for some of you, that breaks your heart, that leaves you feeling emotionally wounded. But I'm also hearing from someone that doesn't meet you at this heart level because I see this dichotomy with one individual being very closed off emotionally and another being very emotionally healthy and available and what we see beneath that is the king of wands so this ending and this closure although difficult it puts you in your power it gives you the ability and the knowledge that you are abundant, you are successful, and it pulls you out of that energy of lack so that you can have what you desire in the future. Okay, so again, we see that two of voices with the king of wands and the prince of discs. We see you going along your path, constructing your dreams, your world, your desires in the manner you've hoped for, although it may be slower than you desire this journey, this process, because again, we have patience, but it's almost as though it leads to something stable. I also think this is alluding to, for those of you moving away from one person, one connection, and just focusing on yourself, although the new love offer may take longer than what you've hoped for, Spirit is saying it is something that is very stable and has the potential to really endure, which wasn't what we were seeing with this other energy. Now, with this three of discs, again, it's feeling proud of yourself and investing in yourself, but also dedicating yourself to some sort of craft business skill that generates tremendous abundance. And that's when I think a divine partner comes in and you experience this beautiful joy of not only union, but also living and fulfilling your vision for your life, your dreams. So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.